So if you guys remember, back in the dinosaur era, I used to do cool tech videos on the channel, mostly under 50 bucks. But as I went through puberty, I kind of lost interest in those types of videos and I switched over to making mostly PC content. Until today, I got good news. I'm actually bringing back the series, but with a twist. Instead of me deciding on what cool tech to buy, I thought, why not let my wife decide? Hi guys. She's been wanting to be a part of the channel for such a long time now, and I thought this would be a cool way to kind of collab with her and get her on the channel more. But I have no idea what she bought online. I just gave her my credit card and I told her to buy whatever you think looks cool on their $50. And here's the fun part. We're actually gonna decide if the tech is gonna be cool or not. Hence the new name of the series, Cool or Not Cool. Yeah, someone already uses that. Really? Cool, not cool. Yeah. Oh. All right, how about this? Dope or nope? Uh, yeah, that one too. Are you serious? That's all I got, guys. But if you have a better name, let me know in the comment section and I will change the name of the series to the person who has the most votes down below. Are you always afraid of someone stealing your personal data while you're browsing online? Well, no need to fear. Dashlane is here. Dashlane makes it super easy to manage everything. They autofill all your personal information like address, credit cards, passwords, and more to make it super convenient to check out. You can also auto-generate super secure passwords and everything is encrypted, making this the safest place to store all of your sensitive data. I also really love this new feature from Dashlane called Dark Web Monitoring. This basically allows you to receive alerts if your personal information is found leaked on the dark web, where it may be available to spammers and hackers. On top of all that, it even has built-in VPN as well, so you can browse safely and privately on unsecure Wi-Fi networks. With Dashlane, you are getting a password manager, a VPN, and dark web monitoring for less than what just one of those services usually costs. So go ahead and try Dashlane for free on your first device by visiting dashlane.com slash techsource and make sure to use the coupon code techsource for an extra 25% off premium. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's begin the show. Let's start off with the first piece of tech. We got LED charging cable. There's literally like no brand on here. Oh, there it is. Koraba made in China. Oh my God, that was a close one. I apologize. Why didn't you tell me this was coming from China? Can't be too careful out there these days, you guys. Gotta stay safe. All right, so we got an LED charging cable. It's, six, it's a six feet LED charging cable. So let's check and see how this actually lights up. Because the cable itself, I don't think it's cool, but if it lights up and it's bright, I'll say it's cool. Oh, what? This is, it actually, it, it looks like it's, it's a lot more bright on this side and then it slowly fades away closer it gets to the ports. In the middle, in the center, you guys can see it's not that bright. So, kind of disappointing to be honest. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about. Imagine taking this to the rave. I like the idea of this, but I can't really call it cool because it doesn't work for both day and night. This is only cool at night, I feel like, but although it's not really up to me, it's up to you guys as well to determine if this is cool or not. All right, what's next? All right, we've got, of course we got a Fortnite item. Make sure you guys are washing your hands, staying indoors and practicing social distancing. Anyways. <laughs> We got a boogie bomb from Fortnite. I actually stopped playing Fortnite way before this was released, but I did see some videos online of what it does. Apparently you throw this and people start dancing if you're in the radius of the boogie bomb. How much was this? $15. $15? Okay. What is the actual point of this though? Like, is it supposed to be like decoration? Is this for toddlers? So when I press this, I'm guessing we're gonna hear the music that we hear in the game once it's activated. And I mean, is it supposed to make us dance or something? I don't get it. For 
I guess if you're a fan of Fortnite, I would say it's cool. For um, anybody over the age of 12, I don't think this is cool. Actually, I just realized I have the perfect place for this. All right, what's next? Okay, we got something for the Star Wars fans out there. A Millennial Falcon, my, Millennium Falcon. I always say Millennial, I always say millennial every time I see this word. Millennium Falcon micro USB charging cable. Oh, okay, so this is actually not just a Star Wars themed micro USB cable, but it also lights up just like the, uh, like the other cable we just checked out. I actually like the detail on here, but you can tell it's cheaply made. Like this is, this is super light. This can snap in half pretty easily. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, that is a disappointment. You could barely see the light strip, which is only in the center of the cable anyways. This is very faint. Oh, the back of the, the thing lights up too. Look at this, that's pretty cool. I'm not impressed. I don't know. If you're really a diehard Star Trek fan, I, you might be into this, but I don't, I'm gonna have to say pass. I don't think this is cool, to be honest. Let's see what it looks like with the lights off. It's so faint, you guys can't even see this like on camera, but yeah, I mean, realistically, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, but it's not really practical. You know, the edge is so wide that you can't even fit this in tight, narrow spaces. Um, but how much is this? $38. $38? $38 for this? Yeah. Do you know how much toilet paper I can buy with $38? I wouldn't drop $38. I don't care how much of a Star Trek fanboy I am. I will not buy something like this, which is also cheaply made and the lights don't even work that well. They're making money off these guys. I'm... And now a very special segment we like to call Ed's Corner. You know what, let's take a break real quick, show my audience a couple of products that I chose for this video and it'll go back to your products. Okay? No. What do you mean no? No. My channel, my rules. All right guys, so we're gonna be checking out this awesome wired gaming keyboard from PicTech. All right, let's unbox this real quick. Take a closer look. I don't know why the box is so beat up like that. Now we're talking actual gaming gear for my gamers out there. So this is a full-size RGB mechanical gaming keyboard with blue switches. Perfect for those annoying gamers out there who like to click clackety clack in the microphone and annoy the other gamers out there. If you're that type of monster who prefers blue switches, this keyboard is for you. <laughs> Unlike the other keyboard that I reviewed on the channel recently, which was made out of a sponge, this one is actually built pretty well. You got a full aluminum body. In fact, Let's do a quick durability test, shall we? I want you to hit me on the head with this as hard as you can mm -hmm. on the back here, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna test the durability of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really durable keyboard, guys, and I love the fact that it comes with a detachable wrist rest and multimedia buttons. You guys got control to your volume up here and shortcuts to open up your mail or calculator. And check this out. Even the side of the keyboard lights up. That's pretty cool. But yeah, unfortunately you're stuck with blue, so it might be a deal breaker to some of you who have a very specific color scheme in your setup. I just, I don't know why they didn't give us white. And this is the PicTech RGB gaming mouse that pairs really well with the keyboard. I did not know it has an underglow over here. That's pretty cool actually. But my first impressions, it's actually a really light mouse. And the cool part about this is that it has a weight tuning set inside. So if you pop this out, you can actually get an even lighter mouse. I love the thumb rest over here on the side and the side grips actually makes it a lot easier for me to grab and slide around. So the lighting on here, although very cool, there is noticeable hotspots all around the mouse. So probably keep this on the RGB lighting effect because it's not as noticeable. This is also a 12,000 DPI mouse with 10 programmable buttons and I just noticed that there's a trigger button on the side. 
Personally, I'm not a fan of this because I don't use a trigger button on my mouse ever, but if you do, you might like this, especially for the price. Now, here's the thing, you guys. Normally, I wouldn't feature this keyboard or mouse in this video, but the fact that you can get 30% off the keyboard and the mouse is insane. I'll drop a link to the coupon code below if you wanna check them out. And now back to your regular scheduled content. Give me something good. Give me something good. That looks heavy. Okay, it's not that heavy. So we got the Magic Disc 4. Not the first, second, or third, but the Magic Disc 4. Oh, this is a fast wireless charger. Okay. Finally, we're taking a break off the cables, taking a look at an actual charger. Oh, that looks pretty cool. But as we know, looks can be deceiving on this episode. So this works with any phone that is um, capable of charging wirelessly. So iPhone, Samsung Note, or S series lineup. I actually have an iPhone right now. Let's, let's test it out. What makes this cool other than just wirelessly charging? Lights, it lights up? Okay. I don't see any lights. Is there a power button? Oh! It's on the edge. It's, it's barely visible. We've got the iPhone 10. That was fast. It literally charged within a couple seconds. I mean, the design looks cool. I wish the light was more prominent. We have to test this out in the dark again. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is. Let's see if it charges with the case on. It charges with the case on. Look how thick the case is. And there's like three cards in there too. It charges. What? That's insane. Okay, I gotta give I gotta give a point for that. That's that is pretty damn that is pretty damn cool. I just wish the light was more was brighter. To be honest, this is something that you can put on your nightstand or let's say in your setup if you're playing in a, like low light. It will, it will look cool in low light. Otherwise, it's just a regular wireless charger in my opinion. All right, next, let's go. Two more left. I saw this a mile away. I saw the box color. We got a Darth Vader clapper, ladies and gentlemen. Another. Another tech for the Star Wars fans out there. I've actually never seen this anywhere. I've heard of clappers out there, but I've never seen a Star Wars one. Wait, how much was the, the wireless charger? $45. $45? $45? Yes. First impressions, the build quality is already a lot better than the Millennial, Millennium Falcon cable that we unboxed earlier. But how accurate is this? Will it register to claps? test it out. What am I going to test this on though? Yeah. Oh, you bought, you bought the lamp from home? Yes. You thought of everything, didn't you? Thank you very much. So we're going to plug the lamp in Darth Vader's butt and I'm going to plug this into the power outlet. It's off. Clap from there, let's see if you'll hear it. No. <laughs> That's like what, maybe eight feet and it can't recognize the claps? Disappoint, what's, got, what's happening with Star Wars today? How much was this? $29. $29? See, that's actually a lot better than the charging cable, which was like 40 bucks. Unbelievable. You underestimate the power of the dark side. If it works, it's cool, but it's the distance is kind of disappointing. I wonder if it'll pick up other claps, like late at night, you know, when we're relaxing. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Oh, that's pretty huge, actually. Ready? I can grab that, yeah. Ah! When I first saw this, I thought that this was the actual gauntlet that you put in your hand, but it's actually a lot smaller than that. This is a, a desk lamp for ages six and up. How much was this? $26. $26? 
That's actually pretty good. 26 or 7? That, that, that's still pretty good, actually. All right. Let's pop this in. Oops. All right. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's what the cable was for. If you, if you don't have any batteries, you can plug the cable in. I'm such a doofus, man. All right, so here it is. The Infinity Gauntlet. I, I don't even know what to say. It, I mean... It's not even that bright. Is this supposed to light something? I wouldn't even call this a lamp. You could, it doesn't light anything. It's not even bright. I mean, you can see the stones clearly, but a lamp is supposed to light an area, right? I'm conflicted with this one because I'm a big fan of Avengers, but this product doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. It's not lighting up an area. Uh, it's just, I feel like it's just a collectible thing. It should be just called an infinity gauntlet with gems that light up, honestly. You can't even, you can't even fist it. If there had an opening to put your fist in there, it would have been, it would have been cooler, a little bit cool, but. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but do let me know what you thought of it by either leaving a like or a dislike. If it does well, I guess we'll continue the series, but I just wanted to try something different, you know, something from the usual PC videos that I do on the channel. This is actually my wife's idea in the first place. So uh, there'll also be a poll, by the way, on the top right corner. This is very important. My life depends on it. I need you guys to vote on how many cool tech products you've seen in this video. That number will reflect on how many times she eggs me in the face in the beginning of the next cool tech episode, if it even happens, to be honest. But that is up to you guys. Make sure to vote zero. I'll also drop a link to all the products down below if you guys want to check that out. A huge thank you to my beautiful wife for being a part of the first ever episode. You're welcome, babe. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Instead of me purchasing the cool tech to show you guys, I thought, why not let my wife decide on what to buy? Hi guys! <laughs> so there's that. Also, there's a poll on the top left, top right. Let's get it set up. Oh my god! Broke my keyblade. No, I didn't Just one. This is new. That was on me this entire time? Yeah. Oh my god. So which of these was your favorite from this episode? This one. The bomb? Yeah. 